Hello guys, this is a video series of advanced survey. This series might be useful for those students who are in GTU or other university who have subject of advanced survey or surveying part 2. In this video series, we are going to cover these topics that are tankomatic surveying, geodetic surveying, theory of arrows, field astronomy, aerial photogrammetry, modern surveying instrument, remote sensing, GIS systems. And we are going to refer these highlighted books that is surveying part 2 and part 3 by B.C. Pumamiya, advanced surveying by R. Agro, and surveying theory and practice by M. Anderson, published by Magro Hill. And we are also going to take a reference from nptl.se.in, which is a lecture taken by IITN faculties. This series is mainly in two languages, formally in Hindi language to make this video series useful for Indian students. So first of all we will take some basic uh, idea of these topics. For example, tachometry survey. This is the tachometer. In tachometry, tachometry is a system of rapid surveying by which the horizontal and vertical position of point on the earth's surface relative to one another are determined without using chain or tape or a separate leveling instrument. Instead of pole formally employed to mark a point, a staff similar to level staff is used. This marked with height of from base or foot and graduated according to the form of tachometer in use. Now geodetic survey. Geodetic survey is a specific type of survey that takes curvature of earth into account. These surveys cover large areas of land and provide high level of accuracy. These are some photographs of geodetic survey. Mainly we also count curvature of earth to take this survey. Now next chapter is about theory of errors. In theory of errors, measurement always contains some errors. Since the measure quality are used to calculate other quantities such as area, volume, elevation, slope through relationship with the measure quantities, the error in measure quantities get propagated into calculated quantities. The error in measure quanti quantities should be eliminated or minimized before they are used in computing other qualities. Now next point is field astronomy. In field astronomy, uh, basically we use a GPS system. So we know about longitude and latitude. In uh, field astronomy, we do the same. Measure the point of uh, with reference with uh, longitude and latitude. Uh, this is called field astronomy. This is a line of latitudes, that is vertical lines. Sorry, uh, longitude and uh, horizontal lines are latitude. Next chapter is about aerial photogrammetry. In aerial photogrammetry, it is a taking of photograph from the ground and elevated direct down position. Usually the camera is not supported by the ground based structure. So basically we use uh, this type of photography by a drone or a, say plane or satellite system to survey our earth area. Platform for aerial photography include fixed wing aircraft, helicopter, unmanned aerial vehicles, balloons, blimps, rockets, pigeon skies, parachute, standalone telescope, vehicle mounted poles, mounted camera maybe taken remotely or automatically. Handheld photographs may be taken by photographer. So if we take an example of our earth sphere, which is collection of photographs taken by the satellite. So we will zoom into our Gandhinagar's gift city, which is located in Gujarat state. Okay, this is the gift city and this is the Gandhinagar city. 
these are the photographs which is combined uh, from uh, software with the use of software and this photograph are taken from the satellite So if you want to the collection set of the photograph in this Google Earth, so we will activate all the tools to see the photographs. Mainly it is located in the more local place and uh, photographs which are taken by the uh, Google satellite and other company satellite and uh, some photographs are bought by the Google company to uh, arrange it in this. For example, you are watching some squares in the this system okay this is a combination of photograph for example you can see this is the one square this is the one square this is the one square okay these are the photographs taken by the satellite and which is uh, manipulated and uh, stretch out uh, by google to fit in the google or software you can see the square uh, this is a point where uh, satellite has taken the photograph if we click here Google will show us the detail of this photograph from which company it is taken, from which satellite it is taken and which spot is. Okay, you can see the uh, date of the photograph, satellite spot and other basic details from here. Okay, mainly uh, this is the aerial photogrammetry. Then another topic is modern serving instrument. For example, we take uh, EDM, electronic distance measurement device, which use uh, uh, for some time uh, photons and uh, electromagnetic waves to measure uh, reflection time and to measure distance from that. Another is infrared wave instrument, light wave instrument, microwave instrument. And then we also cover up the total station in this coursework, video course. And then uh, another is uh, automatically. After that topic is remote sensing. Remote sensing generally refers to the use of satellite or aircraft based sensor technologies to detect and classify objects on Earth, including on surface and the atmosphere and ocean based on the propagated signals. It may be split into active remote sensing and passive remote sensing. We know the GPS system which we use for uh, traffic uh, and uh, that kind of thing. Uh, other uh, remote sensing is used for uh, agriculture and uh, population countation, uh, jungle and tree countation etc. etc. Uh, then topic is a uh, geographic information system that is a GIS. As you can see, uh, GIS is a set of information which is collected by the satellite and other sensor which is uh, monitored on uh, satellite or plane uh, which is a collection of information on one uh, plane which is uh, uh, some layers. The data sets of uh, photographs of the uh, satellite elevation then uh, contour of the uh, earth, transportation system, addresses, boundaries, water features, agriculture etc etc kind of data. So basically we are going to cover these uh, topics in this video series. We also cover the examples, uh, means uh, practical kind of examples and also the theoretical problems in this video series and also we are going to cover some detailed theories. So these are the topic we are going to cover in this video series. So stay tuned with me and we will see you later in lecture series.